Hello, my name is Sabine Pinheiro. I am from France, and today I will show you how to create an amazing modern almond with a uh, beautiful design. Come on. And now, let's do it. I already uh, applied the nail form and I will show you how because I recreate a modern almond. We will see. So from the top, you can see that uh, the middle of the shape is in the, in the middle of the, of the uh, finger. And nail form needs to be completely connected to the stress point. After this, the shape is tapered to create this modern almond. If you look from the side, you can see that the nail form is going slightly up. And this is depending, this, dep this depends on the length that I will do. Here, I will do until six, around six. So that's why it's slight, really slightly up. Now I will create the extension and I choose to work with uh, fiber white because it will give a special effect. We will see. I take a bit of product and I will put this bowl. This bead will not go over the nail, but as you can see, only on the nail form. I need to correct everything. Be sure that the stress points are connected. And I create the extension like that. My extension is now finished and cured, of course. Now I will add some uh, metallic gel bronze on the cuticle area to create some depth. I will show you. I put a bit of gel around the cuticle area, clean my brush, and now fade it. It's really easy to fade, as you can see. And I will cure it. Now I cured the, this metallic gel bronze, and uh, now I will add some special things like seashell and confetti to make perfect effect. Wow. I will show you now. First, I want to place a bit of rubber base because I need some uncured gel to put my uh, to put my uh, inlays. So this is my rubber base. And I will take some seashell to put in the middle. I'm sure you will like this effect. After this, I will take some confetti and I will put them around to give more depth. And now I will cure. Now all my inlays are uh, finished for this step, of course. And now I will create the uh, wall with, uh, I made a, a mix of uh, power gel, sparking pink and uh, burgundy glass. And I will show you the result. I place my ball where I want to create my wall. And I am using prep and wipe to work. I need to fade it, connecting the stress point, go slightly over the uh, inlays, connecting the other side, and now I can create a perfect wall, perfect border, and fade it. Now to uh, create the apex, I will use uh, Power Gel Clear, and I will show you. Come on. 
I already take a bead and I will place this bead. I will use my brush to create this apex. Now I will find the elongation because it needs to be perfect before applying the French and all other uh, inlays. I will show you. First, of course, I remove the sticky layer of my gel and I will take my file with a 180 grit and I will find the corner and elongation and it needs to be completely straight. I just uh, finished filing my smile line and uh, all my uh, elongation and now I will use liner black to create the wall really black and I will create also an extra smile line. Come on. I already take some black liner black on my brush and I am creating this wall and I will use another brush because I want to create my extra smile line in black so I will draw it. As you can see it's really easy to work and um, liner black is really really pigmented so you don't need to use tons of gel. That's good news. So as I told you I create an extra smile line with the liner black and now I will put some rhinestones and they will be inlay. I will show you. First I have to uh, take rubber base and I will create a swimming coat and with this swimming coat I will put some rhinestones. I choose ram ones from the uh, carousel and I will put them like this. It will give a lot of depth to my design. And completely in the corner and from the other side. Now I will uh, put power gel to create the end of my second wall. I will place my bead and with my brush, double power brush, I will place my product, product where I want. I already love it. You can push. Power gel is really easy to work with because you can do what you want. I create my second smile line and I already uh, also uh, shapered it with my file, of course, because it's a second wall. Now I will make uh, uh, the wall with black, liner black, to make it more uh, uh, depth. I just want liner black on my second wall. like this. Now I will put some uh, power gel white to create another wall. This is a new smile line. So I, uh, first I place my product everywhere and I will perfection it. Look how easy, how easy it is to work with power gel. I can cure it when I am happy. After filing my uh, white uh, nail bed, I, I, was, uh, I, I have put sorry, uh, liner black under the wall again. And now I will finish my nail. I created a mix with power gel clear and uh, glass um, brown and glass amber. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> and I will create the end of my nail 
with this mix. As you can see, under my nail, it's a white fiber white, so we can see the depth. Look. To make an extra effect, I will put some uh, flakes on my non-cured power gel because when uh, I will uh, work with it, it will blend everything and it will be amazing. Now I'm just finishing my nail like this. And when you are happy, you can cure it. After curing of my last step, now I will remove the sticky layer of the power gel of my nail and I will also remove the nail foam. Come on. I'm removing sticky layer, really gentle, and I will remove the nail foam. Sometimes it's a bit hard because th those nail foam really stick as a crazy and I will file first the shape of the nail. Don't uh, forget that a parallel needs to be tapered and modern almond needs to have this 45 degrees angle. After this, I will work on cuticle area and I will file my shape. I have now finished the filing and now we will apply the top gel. Come on. For the top gel, I use Supreme Finish and I apply it everywhere, of course, because we want to see this wow effect. And I'm going close to cuticles. Do you want to see the end result? Come on with me, look at this. Thank you for watching. I hope to you like this nail and that you will try to make it again. And don't hesitate to share your results with me because I will be really happy. Thank you very much. Bye.